Oh, okay, we're live. Um, did not plan on it to just force me to be live, but hey, we're live. All right. Um, let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. Boom. The screen has changed and hello, welcome to the FSX Talk channel. Uh, let me check real quick to see. Oh, that does not help me. Streamlabs. Nope. I have to be in Streamlabs. All right. Welcome to the FSX Talk channel. Um, I have my hand cam, joystick cam set up. Uh, let's do some missions. So I have been going through the missions and it seems that I have completed all of the fun ones of oh, Flower Power. That one is very difficult. Pretty sure I did that one before. Uh, let's just go through the missions. I'm not doing that one. That's just going to take four or five minutes to three hours. Maybe you can do some rocket launch, air cover. I want to do some fun missions. You know, missions to hopefully you can get some entertainment value out of Jet City, maybe. Jet City requires flying, like, um, flying in um, multiplayer. Some wacky multiplayer esque flying. Oh, sorry, there's no audio. Let's see. Alright, that's the FSX music. Let's see, I did white out, Africa relief. Really... Let's just start from the top. Let's do some fun missions that I did already. So, what can be classified as fun? Let's do a high altitude intercept. Right, let's check stream maps to see if. Okay. Right, let's go to briefing. Fly. Alright, this should not take too long because, you know, I have flight sim on an SSD. Oh, um. Yeah, so about this setup. I'm using my Canon SL2 DSLR as a webcam. I don't have Elgato, any of the Elgato um, things to connect the camera to the computer, but what I am using is a USB cable, which is pretty dope. Let us take a listen. All right, there's no audio coming in. Which is weird. Oh. Alright, so for some strange reason, the audio is coming through my speakers. Alright, let's start up the engines in the meantime. Oh, rats. Alright, let me go back over here. Hopefully Streamlabs accepted that. Nope. Alright, so I just stopped it briefly so that I can go into so I can open up Chase Plane. Now, I'm very upset with you guys for not telling me that Chase Plane existed. I have been playing Flight Sim on and off for more than 10 years and only about Two or three weeks ago, I learned about Chase Plane. So I'm very disappointed that you guys did not tell me Chase Plane existed. It would have made flight sim filmmaking so much easier for me. Which is what I have been doing. I have been doing like flight sim filmmaking. That is so weird. Alright. For some strange reason, I have to go back to Streamlabs to change my to change my um my, my screen let's open up cheese plane and set my view that's why I like to I like flying a bit zoomed out uh, let's bump this up a bit bump that up 
clues. Oh, I'm so mad that you guys can't hear the voices. If you're hearing the voices from Flight Sim, that means you're hearing it through my microphone. So that you guys can see my dark skin in, the, in this room. Well, not my dark skin in particular, but so you guys can see me properly. Because without the lights, the video would be super dark. replaces your virtual cockpit view as in if you don't have cheese plane open you can't look around and it's kind of annoying to open cheese plane then open flight sim it's kind of clunky to play. ah yes of course flight lead has an issue and now i have to do this myself She's playing this. To me, it's kind of expensive though. But you know, I'm glad I have it, but jeez, that price. Hmm, couldn't can't stomp that price. What I, I did. Okay, 
we were at 900. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna complete this mission. Interrogation 30% complete. See where's the UFO? Over G. Over G. Yeah, he's he's going to pitch up and just rocket away to that huge mothership. Let's re refly that mission. I goofed. That's what I did. Alright. Excuse my hand getting into the shot. I'm just going to turn on the brightness of, of my monitor to combat this light. Alright, that's my microphone. I'm going to be around it. That's all the engines now. Engine 2 is up. Well, both engines are up. I see it down here. If you guys are interested, my joystick is the SeaTech ABE Tard 01. I did a couple videos on my, on my channel about it. I, will, I want him to do an update to this joystick. Not because there's anything wrong with it, but I mostly, I mainly want a detachable cable for my joystick, or maybe even a wireless joystick. This particular joystick I like because, as you can see, I am left-handed, and all the other joysticks don't work well for me at all. Like the basic joystick, the Logitech Extreme Pro 3D or whatever, that's like made for right-handers and all of the potasses they are made for right-handers because they have a thumb, a thumb button and the whole thing is kind of shaped to be held in the right hand too
is that they wouldn't um, the aircraft wouldn't show up until Q3. Not only not only AI traffic but multiplayer traffic because I'm sure you guys have seen jittery um, traffic whether it be multiplayer or AI um, in your gaming sessions. Whoa. Guys, look how look how fast this thing moves. That was like super huge. You can tell that it's moving at a decent clip. Alright, so let me just back away. Return to Edwards now. Four to five nautical miles. There is the mission pointer.
some S turns. Here's my runway. Oh, I'm almost perfectly lined up, but I'm like way too fast. So let's open up the speed brakes. Do some barrel rolls to decrease altitude. Okay, maybe do one barrel roll to decrease altitude. 300 knots. At 250, gear is coming down. Two fifty gear down. Two hundred knots. Decrease speed brakes. Open up flaps. Touch. That's a bit rough. But hey, we landed. Nice. Open up speed brakes again. We're still going a bit fast. Alright, success! Lovely. Earman's Medal for Heroism. Oh, there is my stream lamps in the background. Uh, let's get rid of that. Yoink. Let's, let's go into settings. Change my sound. really quickly. Raise this up so I can monitor the audio. Yeah, I can see that it also decrease audio a little bit. Or maybe just bring the audio down like that. Talk, test, test, test. Alright, let's bring down the audio a bit more. And test, test, test test well I don't know I'm looking at these levels and it seems like the audio is right there next to on the same level with um, my microphone but we'll see how it goes I mean I'll see when they do a rewatch what other fun missions can we do mm. we did that one right? Carrier tutorial. Yeah, let's do the carrier tutorial. I really like the carrier tutorials. I like I just like messing around in the carriers because I get bored flying like the 737 and the A321. I get kind of bored doing those long haul flights. And I'm not very good. In this tutorial, yes. you'll learn about basic FA-18 Hornet Fox operations, coming through my headphones carrier now. operations, how to use the catapult, All how right. to fly a VFR pattern, when he's and done how talking, to make an arrested landing. I'm going to explain why I really like um stuff. As the carrier like gets underway, carrier let's operations. go over some of the Hornet systems with the engines Oh, off. look at that. Beautiful. The Hornet is designed for naval operations. It has very strong landing gear to take the abuse of carrier landings and a tail hook for quick stops on a short deck. Two engines provide plenty of power. You see that jerkiness we of the carrier? We won't be going over avionics or doing a thorough Hate cockpit it. orientation here, him. but take a look around. Try to locate the main controls you'll use, such as the throttles, gear lever, hook lever, flap lever, and speed brake lever. Look at a beautiful, smooth, cheese plane view. The Hornet has six stages of afterburner, which ignite consecutively as you advance the throttles past maximum military power. The more afterburner you use, the more thrust is produced, and the more fuel is consumed. Don't use afterburner unless absolutely necessary, as its high fuel flow rate greatly reduces aircraft range. Before starting the engines, pull the throttle levers all the way back. 
The last thing we want is an out of control aircraft on the carrier deck. Alright, let's start up. Oh, yes. Press Control E uh, to start the engines. Up. Or for the complete startup procedure, up, press Shift F10 to display the kneeboard. Yeah, I have AI carriers installed, so I like playing around landing on the carriers. It really helps me gain discipline in doing proper approaches, doing um, long finals so I can line up on the runway. And different and it helped me realize that different aircraft have different flight characteristics like this f a eighteen is let's call this the default flight characteristics if you fly the f thirty five c from dino Cation, Cationo, i keep messing up that guy's last name but if you fly his f thirty five c you would know that the the roll rate on the, of that aircraft is a lot slower than this aircraft and it decreases in speed a lot. Um, as soon as you decrease throttle. Oh, sorry. How do I say this properly? The F-35 does not maintain its speed well when you decrease its throttle. It slows down like, whoa. And then, you know, you, you fly the... Now that both engines are running, Vertavo. release the brakes oh, and ease the throttle forward very slightly. With two high thrust engines, it doesn't take much to get moving. Yeah, with the Vertafo E4 Skyhawk. Taxi to one of the two catapults on the bow of the carrier. Stop talking. We'll fly a left hand traffic pattern. The standard VFR pattern from a carrier is flown at 600 feet and 150, 150 knots. knots. But in this tutorial, we'll fly it at 2,000 feet and 200 knots to make it a little easier. Yeah, the Vertava Skyhawk, it has a very fast roll rate, but it maxes out at 158 knots and it's very prone to stalling. So, just helps me, you know, realize that all different aircraft when fly differently and just can't lower the launch bar with the controls in the cockpit. Around the sky. Then press Shift I to attach and arm the catapult. Be sure the brakes are off. Lower the flaps to take off position by pressing the F7 key once. Alright, I have when um, you're ready to go, these key binds on the my... throttles to full military power. You don't need afterburner to take off using the catapult. I have these Press key binds on my oh my god. To launch. I have these key binds on my joystick already. So that then that's um the push back bar. Alright, so let's go let's get some throttle. Now this should be enough. Pull back on the stick and climb away from the carrier. Climb to 2,000 feet. Don't exceed 200 knots. Raise the flaps. Alright, flaps coming up. Turn left to a heading of 200, 200 and enter a downwind feet. leg parallel to the carrier. To on downwind, you should be level at 2,000 feet, flying at 200 knots. One thing I like about when these missions actually give you speed to maintain, it that also helps me because I either fly full throttle or no throttle. Slow down to 200 knots. I mean, use the speed brake to slow down. Back in the day, that's what I used to do. But now I kind of take this stuff seriously now. Well, not seriously, but I'm more... Um... aware that means good. So... I like maintaining the speed. The thing about IFR in Flight Sim is that it does not tell you speed. It would tell you, like, maintain this altitude or whatever. Stretching across the deck are four cables that... Let's just mute you. Yeah. It tells you about um, altitude and heading, but it does not tell you what speed to maintain um, at different points in your flight. So that's a bit annoying for me. So these missions, they're kind of good because the AI, um, the guy, they talk to you more. 
that's um something I mentioned in my video um my FS2020 wishlist or something like that it's about the features I want to be seen I want to see in FS2020 one of those in includes some um, proper um, tower controls not tower controls proper tower talking to you because when the tower talks to you they just say turn left to this heading and increase or decrease to this altitude they don't tell you they don't tell you um, about speed and if you have an emergency like if you do if you simulate an engine fire you can't declare an emergency and have the game the simulator react to that emergency so that's just something I want FS2020 to include let's just bring back the song because me talking no bueno adjust power to maintain 170 knots And we're still maintaining 2000, I presume. Two hundred and ninety knots. Did it say anything about flaps? Look, we have. Descend to a pattern height of 2,000 feet for this tutorial. All right, I got you. I also need to redo some tutorials or flight practice on turning, doing coordinated turns. I have rediscovered um, ruling out and heading. Remain above 1,000 feet until you're on a two mile final. Okay, so I can descend. Adjust power to maintain 150 knots. 150. You're landing on the angled deck, so you need to be to the right of the carrier as you approach. The carrier is heading directly into the wind. To land on the angled deck, you need to compensate for the crosswind. You should be able to see the top of the deck throughout your approach. If you can't see the deck, you're too low. Yeah. See, this is what I've been trying to tell the kids in the Discord channel, uh, the Discord server I'm on. Like, learn how to fly through the missions and learn how to fly before you hop into Discord. There's a particular kid, he's like, oh, I don't know how to fly the 747. And they're like, okay, cool. And he's like, oh, should I get the 777? Should I get this? Should Lower I get this? Lower full flaps and maintain 130 I'm like, knots. Dude, Learn how to fly the aircraft first, learn how to take off, learn how to turn, learn Adjust how to power to maintain land. 130 knots. Move and left. Slow to 130 knots and for the final then approach. You're fast. Oh, I think my hook and my gear should be done. My hook and gear should have come down since I was three five five, three beam. quarter mile. Call the ball. The ball is the yellow indicator on the visual landing system on the left side of the flight deck. If the ball is higher than the row of green lights, you're too high. If the ball is lower than the green lights, you're too low. If the ball is red, you're dangerously low. All right, I think I'm gonna make it. Trap, three wire, red deck. Nice. Great landing. Raise the tail hook to release from the cable. If you'd like to practice more carrier landings, try flying the carrier practice mission. I am also very happy I did not crash on my live stream. I am very proud of myself. Yeah, I'm like... I'm guessing that's why people in my... in the... Um, in the Discord channel, in the Discord server I'm in, they kind of don't like a particular flight sim YouTuber. Well, it's kind of a double-edged sword with that particular YouTuber. It's like, 
because of him a lot of people have shown interest in Light Sim. But also because of him you have a lot of kids, um, squeakers coming into Flight Sim. And somewhat ruining it, ruining the experience for some people. Like they would get the sim and just hop into multiplayer without even knowing how to fly. Like, no, don't do that. So just... Oh, is my camera frozen? Whoops. No. I'm looking at my stream back here and it seems as if my webcam is frozen. Which I hope not to be the case. Maybe if I put this down here. Oh well. You'll see. Now we're doing Jet City. Alright, as we're loading, let's me, let me check my stream on YouTube. Take off, fly all right. through all the gates, then return to Boeing Field. Land on either runway with as much time remaining on the countdown timer as possible. Each gate you fly through will add time to the clock. The order you fly through the gates is up to you. Don't rush. Flying slower will allow you to make tighter turns. Press the K key to cycle the mission compass to each gate. Remember, some gates may be hidden by the scenery. All right, so. All right, just peeping my stream. Cool. Ah, um, wait, can I hear my voice? I don't think I can hear my voice. Test, 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 test. Okay, yeah, I can hear my voice. Which is good, but my voice is super low on the stream. So, I apologize for that. Let me turn down the desktop audio a bit more. That should be better. All right, let's go back to Flight Sim. All right, let's see where where are the required gates. All right, let's go. Two notches of flaps for this takeoff. I have enabled gyro drift, so that's why I have to hold left left rudder. Should be able to rotate now. Yep, rotate. Gear is coming up. I am decreasing decreasing my throttle so that I can fly properly. Well. 40 additional seconds. Yay. Alright, that horn was because I was low and my flaps were down and my gear was up. And I was probably slow too. Alright, so that's. Gate is under the bridge. So let's slow down. Oh, I can hear myself. Too low here. Too low let's here. descend. Too low here. That one gives you a 60 second bonus. Alright, I don't feel comfortable making that turn so close. So let's turn here. Oh, there's a gate right here. Too low here. Too low. 
There's 30 more seconds. All right, are there any more required gates close by? Okay, yeah, I see one. I plan on hitting up all of the required gates Whoa. first, and then I'm going to do the other gates. And this gate only gives me 20 seconds. Boo! That one's good for a 20 second bonus. Another one. The thing about this Lear Jet is that you can bank it and yank it like a fighter jet. Ooh, that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not. I can't make that gate now. Or maybe I can. Nope. Pull up. I cannot. Don't sink. Don't sink. Let's hit up this gate. Forty additional seconds. Sink rate. I'm gonna hit up that gate Pull over the up. stadium. The views for Pull these up. gates, they kinda go and come. Don't sink. It's very annoying. Too low here. Too low here. There's thirty more seconds. Alright, let's see, are there any more gates ahead of me? Okay, all of the required gates are behind me now. So let's turn around. You can just... Bonk. Bonk this plane all crazy like. Pull up! Alright, I see a gate for... 40 Pull seconds. Up. The required gate for 40. Pull up. Too low to rain. Too low to rain. All right, I have to do like a high performance climb out to avoid these buildings. Uh, did I get it? Nope. That's okay. Still have time. Uh, man, all these gates are like super close to each other. Alright, so it seems that my um, my stream really, the video for my stream really is frozen. That is kind of unfortunate. I had it set up really nicely for you guys. See me banking and yanking. Sink rate. Uh, oh, Forty up. additional seconds. Forty seconds, lovely. Sink rate. All right, we have a gate about a mile away at eight to five feet. Oh, Sink it's rate. that gate. So what Pull I'm going up. to do? I'm going to turn. Don't sink. Don't sink. Try not to hit the cranes. Don't sink. Don't sink. Then I'm going to turn back. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come down through the channel and hit up. I think there are two gates Sink rate. within the channel. Pull up. Sink rate. Pull up. Pull up. So there is. Sink rate. That one's good for a Too 20 low. second bonus. One gate. Crap. There's a gate right there too. I don't have to make that. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. I flew above that bridge. Minus 50, no. Alright, I'm gonna hit up the the gates along that bridge. Man, the thing about the Learjet. Sink rate. It's very pitchy. Pull up. Sink I rate. do have no flaps. Too low to rain. But it's still very pitchy. I have to push Too down on the nose and 
a lot. Too low here. Too low. Here. Forty additional seconds. Forty additional seconds. Forty additional seconds. Okay, right, well, let's hit up this kid for twenty. No, I missed. Don't sink. Let's see what this git does. Is this a git for 10 seconds? Yes, it is. Useless git for 10 seconds. But let's just get this out of the way. That one adds a 10 second bonus. Have I told you guys that I'm pissed that my webcam has frozen? I'm very upset about that. There is a gate there for like more than 40. How much do you give me? Oh, it's still sink a bit rate. to my left. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Oh my god, these views. This spot view does not help me at all. Let's pull up my speed. Don't oh see. no, is this another gate for or is this 30 seconds? That's about to complain that this that they put the gate for 10. There's 30 more seconds. Oh, I think I can make that. Oh, that gate down there that looks like it's for 50. I'm going to go run parallel to the bridge instead of trying to dive underneath it. Alright, so I have one notch of flaps and I have my spoilers extended. Sink rate. Pull up. Yeah, I have no idea how tight I need to turn. Pull up. I think I passed the bridge. Yep. Yep, that's the gate I'm trying to hit up. Can I hit it up from this angle? I doubt it. That one gives you a 60 second bonus. Oh! Lucky me, I, I got the gate. Alright, so where is this? Let's see if I can... Yes, I paused it. Oh, that's a, that's a required gate. That's down, down that particular channel. Guys, I am super mad my joystick, my um, webcam thing is frozen. It's like, what is the point if you don't see? If it's not working, what's the point of having it? If it don't work. Sink rate. Up. Pull up. Pull up. Alright, 209 knots, Pull 208. Up. This is reasonable. I can deactivate Pull my speed up. brakes. 206. Too low here. Don't sink. Oh, yeah, I have kind of low. There's 30 more seconds. Yes, now no to hit up the optional gates. I have already started to hit up some of the optional gates, but now I'm like in the clear to do the optional gates. Let's start with that one right down there. So let's slow down to terrain. around 200 knots, 220. Sink rate. Sink rate. Alright, this gate is for 30 seconds. Too low here. Don't There's sink. 30 more seconds. Alright, we're gonna hit up 50, then 30. 50 more seconds added to the clock. There's 30 more seconds. Lovely.
I might actually complete this mission successfully. Very happy about that. Oh, that one is way too far. Let's not look at that one. Ah, there was one for 50 Sink rate. between there. Pull up. Pull up. 40 additional seconds. 40 seconds. Pull up. Let's pull Sink up. Rate. Yes, 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 yes. I hear you. I hear you. Alright, we are below 200 knots and I'm scared. Actually, no, not really. See, they, they hit these gates. Just one for 50. Really, really want to tackle. Let's pause. Crap. Trying to get my thing to point to it. Yes, that one. Yes. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Actually, this looks like more than 50. Don't this sink. might be 60 seconds. That one gives you a 60 second bonus. Yes, I was right. Where is the other gate? Alright, I'm gonna hit up that four to second gate. I can see it. Oh, there's one that low. But we're at 300 knots. We're a bit fast. A knife edging to decrease altitude and to turn. But I'm not pulling back on the stick. So my turn Pull is up. slow. Pull up. All right, Pull below two hundred and fifty. I feel. I feel good. That one's good for a twenty-second bonus. Ah, uh, nope, 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 nope. I was trying to bank for that fifty-second gate, but I was not feeling it, y'all. That's 50 second gate between there. Trying to make me crash. Sink rate. Don't I sink. I don't want to crash. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Gosh, how even am I supposed to get that gate? Which one are they pointing me to now? Oh, that's between those two buildings. Hmm. I don't like it. I may have to knife edge to get through there. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It does not look safe. Mm mm. Anyway, let's go for it. We have a minute and 20 seconds. 180 80 knots. Alright, we're turning right. Left to give ourselves some distance. Then let's turn right. To make our turn tighter. Sorry, we turned left to make our right Think turn right. tighter. The diameter Pull of up. our right turn tight. Pull up. Alright, we're coming up. in for the approach. Sink rate. Sink rate. Too Forty low. seconds. Forty two. Too low. Forty. Thirty nine. Too low terrain. Uh okay. I'll climb to meet the gate at its altitude and then I'll have to probably bank or something. Don't bank too much. Two more the seconds added to the clock. Fifty. Oh, okay. Man, I was so sure my wings would have clipped. Let's 
Let's see how they get. Oh, I can't see it. Right, let's close up my flaps. 50 seconds, 4 to 9. Oh no, I can't. Too low to rain. Nope. I can't get in there. Thirty seconds. See I don't think I can make the approach to get in there in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn and hopefully and aim for this optional gate which is near the airport. Ten seconds on the clock. Yeah, I can't nah. Oh shit, I'm over speeding. Not good. Time's up. Can you make it back to Boeing Field? Yes I can. Mission field, oh. Well that sucks. And they knocked out my engines. So let's see if I really can make it to Boeing Field. Engine fire, there's supposed to be something for engine fire. Engine fire push. Fire push. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, okay. I have extinguished the fire. Now let's do a tactical approach, like what they taught me in the mission corkscrew. Let's bring my gear down. I would bring my flaps down, but then I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not too sure about if I do if I have throttle control. Come on, turn. Ooh, I'm kind of hurt. Okay, I do have throttle control, okay. Let's go full flaps. Full flaps, let's do this approach at around 180 knots. That's not 180. Since the mission failed, I am well within my rights to just quit, but I just want to land. Alright, there is the runway light. Sink rate. Sink rate. Pull up. Pull up. Alright, report elevation is 57 feet. Pull up. No, this is an approach those people down sink there rate. have never seen before. Don't sink. Alright, let me increase Don't my sink. throttle. Don't sink. Don't sink. Alright. A very shallow approach. Alright, close throttle. Nose up. Up. Just let the speed decrease. Speed brakes. Why are we climbing? Don't climb. Descend. Reverse thrust. Alright, someone's little shit is parking outside my window. Alright, end mission. Alright. Ignore this. I would just. Why you no work? Oops, not that. Oh, Control Z. Video capture device. 
Huh. Why you no work? Alright, let me... Turn off. And then turn it back on. Let's see if it works now. Hey, we're back in business. Right. Let's see what other fun missions we can do. Lupi Larry. Uh, Lupi Larry took me. Actually, it took me a while to get good to get done. So let's see if I can pull it off in a live stream. Yes, look at my hands, look at the stream. Actually, I'm looking at the stream on my phone and I'm... And oh yes, it is... The webcam is working. Nice. Okay, Larry, I'm rolling. Go ahead and take off. I'll be in position by the time you come back around. There's the bus now. Larry, you better hurry up and take off. That bus can probably go faster than your airplane. Ha ha, that bus could probably go faster than your airplane. And rotate. Turn away from the audience. Alright, it's all about throttle control. Okay, Larry, I'm all lined up on runway 1 8. Let me know when you're ready for me to roll. I just like that guy's accent. Just let me know when you're ready for me to roll. I think it's the same guy same voice actor that did um that did work that worked on the jet truck mission that's the same country accent right bank use some rudder decrease throttle Alright, there is the truck. You know what? Let's do this view. Yes. There goes the bus, and here comes Larry. Ah, don't crash. I'm holding steady at 50 miles per hour. Ready when you are. Oh dear God, why? Why did I choose to do this mission? See, I could spot land on the aircraft carrier, no problem, but landing on this bus kind of difficult. Actually, I think I'm getting the hang of it. See, what I'm not accustomed to doing is lining up on center line and this guy is driving exactly on the center line hey i'm gonna make it holy crap what happened flight sim oh my god kind of floated straight through the platform no don't crash because if my prop hits the platform I'm done for. It isn't that bad though. I mean, I know, I know the progress I've made throughout my years of flight simming, but this ain't bad. Oh my god! Jeez! hate that. I landed on the platform. But Flight Sim was like, no. No, you did not. 
So let's refly the mission. See, I'm just watch doing watching the replay. Not exactly a replay, but I'm watching it on my phone, which has like a 30 second delay. And I clearly landed on the wooden platform. That bus could probably go faster than your airplane. What a wing nut. Alright, so there is, there is the runway. I'm gonna extend my downwind a bit, which is something you guys should always do when you're doing traffic patterns so that you can okay, line Mary. up I'm properly on the runway like that landing I did with um in the previous mission with the Learjet that was an extremely short final and I barely gave myself any time to do a downwind that was mostly a base turn mostly a base turn to final so in your personal flights, whoops, I was not paying attention. Yeah, in your personal flights, definitely extend your downwinds so that you can actually approach properly. See, this is an improper approach. Should not have, should have extended my downwind even more and maybe just paid attention, but I did neither. So, this is what we have. Alright, I'm at 40 miles per hour. I'm moving steady at 50 miles per hour. Ready when you are. Alright, just using my rudder so I could line up on this center line. Then I'm going to just dive for the bus. Not exactly dive, descend for the bus. a bit more to go. See, I should have definitely extended my downwind and paid attention. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, now, see, small movements. Small movements. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm convinced that that was not me. That was Flight Sim saying, oh, this is a hard surface. Boom. And then it bunks me back up. So we have to do that again hey, coming from the, going, from the from the other direction. You were to visit me. Okay, I'll turn around and make a run in the opposite direction for you. Yes, much appreciated. Hillbilly hillbilly guy. It looks like my right gear is a lot lower than the left from this view. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm heading back in the opposite direction. My right gear, sorry, shot. my left gear is lower than my right. Can extend. Let's see how far. All right. I'm going to slow down so that my turn radius will be smaller. Slow down and pull up. And the increased throttle so I maintain 40 miles per hour in my turn. Alright. That ain't. Well, that was bad. Let's line up. Wait till we get closer and then we're gonna tell, tell the bus driver to start moving.
and of course because this is flight sim I have a limited draw distance so I can't see the bus right I can't see the bus on the runway now sorry boom he just appeared let's bring up my speed with shift Z 38 knots indicated all right start going all right I'm approaching a lot to the left I really don't like this mission and they call this a beginner mission sorry intermediate mission the Red Bull Air Race mission is a lot come on don't hype me up announcer announcer man don't hype me up like that uh, almost, almost. Carefully. Yes, I'm on, and it bumps me off. Oh my god. It's so rude. No. I'm struggling. See, that's why you do small corrections. And you do small corrections, brakes. You do small corrections. You don't have to compensate with a large correction. Am I going to stall right on the bus? 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 Yes. No. Okay, you can't see my face, but I'm very mad at what happened just now. I was on the bus, and it bunks me off. Then I was on the ground. Then it flipped me. Man, this mission is something else. No more loopy Larry. Rocket launcher cover, that's kind of boring. Amazon Trek is long, Jet City is long. Helicopter maneuvers too, and yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, helicopters maneuvers too. Then we're gonna do the jet truck drag race. All right, we've been streaming for an hour and 14, 15 minutes. Since this is only me in the stream, I shall see. I am thoroughly enjoying the stream. I was about to say, guys, let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the stream, but I'm the only one here. So yeah, I'm enjoying the stream. Take off whenever you're ready. I have to take off from okay the last. Right, let me. In this tutorial, you just the view with tre in cheese plane really quickly. Uh, let's bump this up. Yeah, that feels nice. Initiate a very challenging vertical course, then land on a yacht that will be moving toward the harbor. When you can successfully complete this tutorial, you should be able to fly any helicopter mission. You'll have to fly slowly in order to negotiate the gates and not crash into the hillside. The yacht. Oh no, we are... This is a locked spot. Let's go to spot. Zoom out, and yeah, that's good. Then if we decide to go into locked spot, I need... Yeah. Okay, that's good too. The yacht is not moving. Alright, compensate for torque 
Yep. Oh, this is going fantastic. I see with much sarcasm. Let's bring up our speed with shift C. 22 knots. We have to climb to 331 for the first gate. 331 feet. Maybe you should zoom out a bit more. Yeah. Alright. Maybe I have to do the zoom in cheese plane. Camera. Zoom out. Yes. Is that good? It's good. Alright, let's close down my throttle. I want my attitude indicator to be just at the bottom of the screen. Alright, pulling up on the nose. So that I slow down. find it easier to see the next gate in spot view. Nope. I've just zoomed out like a, a lot. The thing about this particular mission too is that you can't exactly rely on looking outside to judge the orientation of your aircraft. Because we're flying up a hillside, the ground, if you will, is kind of tilted. Alright, let's, let's go back to cheese plane. Um, let's see. Tilt. I want it to tilt down just a little bit. Alright, tilt up some. Yeah, I guess that'll have to work. Zoom out some more. Tilt up. Yeah. Because I just want to see the bottom of my thing. Of the attitude indicator. Yeah. So don't look. Don't look at the ground to judge your, your attitude. Ooh. Did I miss the gate? Jeez, I missed the gate. Yeah, this is one mission where you absolutely do not want to miss, miss the gate. Oh, I'm at zero airspeed. No! Alright. Let's see. I am not sure if ground defect is modeled in flights in FSX. But I kind of hoping it is modeled in FS2020. But that means that flying helicopters in FS2020 will be a lot more difficult than in FSX. Because the ground effect on a sloped mountain is a lot funkier than, than the ground effect on a um, on flat on flat ground. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, just on the outside. Alright, well, lucky for me, I'm not going for a time or anything, I'm just going for getting it done. Oh, and speaking of FS2020, I'm pretty sure stuff like ridge lift is going to be modeled in FS2020 because it's it's already modeled in FSX. Ridge lift and thermals. I learned that from the soaring mission, but I doubt it. I think that's um. Thermals and 
bridge lift and stuff. I think that's only model for gliders. Maybe it's like an on-off code and the code only activates when you're running gliders. So we can see our at attitude indicator. We're going 17 knots. Congratulations, you've reached the top of the course. Yay! Alright. Going down the course is a lot easier because when you look down you get to see that attitude indicator a lot easy um better. You get to see the attitude indicator and you get to see um, your courses, your, your gates. So let's slow down. Slow down, pull my nose up. Just looking off to the left. Twelve knots. Okay, that gets kind of slow, I must admit. Eight knots. We're at like zero ear speed. Because we have descending through the remaining gates is more difficult than climbing to the top. Take it slowly and maintain clearance from the hillside. Yeah, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. At 8 knots, we are probably at zero ear seat because we have wind from heading 290. And that wind is um 8 knots. I think the ground effect is modeled. Because I'm yawing and it's just yawing back. I don't want it to yaw back to the original heading. When I yaw to a heading, I want it to stay at that heading. And I already tell I'm fast, so I'm just gonna put my nose up and kind of auto rotate down. No, don't put your nose down. Don't put your nose down. Don't do that. Yeah, this is kind of confusing because the gates are tilted down, and like in my mind, I want to fly level with the gates. I'm just turning sideways and descending, kind of like um, how guys with big feet um, walk down steps with small treaders. No, you kind of have to tilt to the side. Or how women in tight dresses and high heels walk down steps. You go down, you turn to the side and descend. Alright, let's go nose up, descend, nice, and of course there's no way, no way I could possibly see that gate. No, don't put your nose down. Alright, I'm going to bank into this turn. I'm guessing the flight sim don't like raw yawing motions. Unless you bank. Alright, now we're low to the ground. I feel a lot comfortable. Since we're over the ocean now, literally over the ocean, we could just look at look at the gates. Look at the ocean to judge my attitude. Now the boat is moving. The boat Great just job stopped. Navigating the vertical course. Now the boat is moving now again. Head for the yacht and land on the helipad. Alright, now since we're doing this the live. Yacht is moving. As you approach, try to match its speed and slowly descend. 
If you aren't comfortable with the approach, go around for another try. Oh, thank you, Yahoo, for that very, very interesting and much needed headline. Much needed notification, sorry. I really needed that, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, landing on this yacht is not bad. Just that the yacht turns, it does not exactly traverse in a straight line. See, it's slowing down. It's turning, it's very confusing actually. See, it's turning again. I don't really want to get too close. What is it doing? See, it's kind of going in like a zigzag pattern. And for some strange reason, I am not turning into the yacht. Maybe? You see that? This thing is, is traveling in, in a zigzag pattern. Okay, it's not going... Right, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, baby. Oh, it's the wind. The wind is at 290, which is off to our left. Our right, sorry, and that's why we're kind of weather veining into the wind. See, I'm just holding back stick. And we're weather veining into the wind. It's interesting. See? Now the wind is just off to our nose on the left side. Now we have to land on a yacht that is going against the wind. So, fun. We always need to try to land into the wind so that your forward speed your if you land into the wind your forward speed is decreased by whatever your ear speed is and the wind so your ground speed will be ear speed minus um however fast the wind is blowing I just want to wait until this boat has reached the other side of this island here. Because this yacht is not playing very nicely. He's yawing all over the place. Not yawing. He's flying it. He's... Sorry. What do boats do? Boats drive, right? The boat is driving in zigzag patterns. Very confusing. Five knots. Let's pull up the nose to decrease. Right, the boat is driving as if it has had a bit of pepper in her step now. the boat speed. I'm guessing the boat is going at 30 knots. Alright, matching the speed. Coming in for an approach for coming from me. Ah, coming in for a landing. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. I'm like giving a death grip to my joystick right now. Please don't turn. Ok, 
Okay, I think I'm going a bit fast now for my angle of, my angle of attack for my uh, pitch and my altitude. All right, all right, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. You just yes. One of the most challenging helicopter landings. Boom. Yes. Stupid bastard ship keep turning and zigzagging all of the place. Oh, give me fix. Yes. All right. What else shall we do? Sugar loaf repair. Dope. Nope. Civil air patrol. Nope. Nope. Have we run out of missions? Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay, so what we can do is we can do the Red Bull time trial mission. And then I want to do one of the um, jet tutorials. Like the transition to jet mission. Because that is, that is nice and I want to I want to do a nice landing that I can show off with a fixed wing aircraft. So maybe I can do this sick to approach mission so I can make some very nice landings. Is this thing in it? Oh, it's not plugged in. Complete the course as quickly as possible. The timer starts when you enter gate one, so fly through it at high speed. The timer stops when you clear gate. Fly through it at high speed. All right, that's good. Remember, you must fly through each gate in sequence. Gate one is up ahead to the right of the runway. A five second time penalty will be assessed for each pylon that is clipped. So stay in the middle of the gate when passing through. All right. And 100 knots, take off. Oh, by the way, this is how you get... Ooh, that is sluggish. Let's open back up Chase Player. Advanced. Uh, maybe a bit more. Yeah, okay. See, I can't see any of the gates. Let's see one to my over here. See, I hear that. Just load up everything, man. That's the issues you get with flight sim. Turn hard to gate two on the other side of the field. Clip. After gate four, you must go vertical before going to gate five. Did I clip? 
Five second penalty? Nope. Nice. Alright, if you guys have seen my Good mission, my video, um, FF, uh, if you have seen my video, CTEC Aviator Joystick Pro? Question mark, question mark. You would have seen that I did this mission. Shit, was I? You were too high on gate five. Circle around and try it again. Crap, yeah, I was too high for that gate. Yeah, if you saw that video, CTEC Aviator 01 Pro, you would see that I did this mission in that in that video as B-roll. Very happy with that video. Very happy with it. Whoops. But people, I guess, people are not accustomed to being clickbaited for flight sim content. Gate 5 must be passed in knife edge flight, banked at least 60 degrees to either side. 60 degrees, yeah. Oof. Kinda mad that I had to do two passes to get into that gate. Now that you've gone vertical, do a touch and go on the chalk stripe across the runway. Yeah, this this is another difficult part that has to that may or may not have to be done multiple times. A touch and go, touch and go on this chalk. Your main wheels must touch the chalk uh, line for the touch and go to shite. count. Try it again. Man, I am super not accustomed to using cheese plane for this mission for this mission in this particular plane but I'm not gonna blame cheese plane cheese plane is fantastic maybe decreased throttle? I don't know I missed it. That was a very terrible loop. Look where I am. Oh, I'm just gonna redo this whole mission. Refly. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Wasn't feeling good about that mission at all. as quickly as possible. The timer starts when you enter gate 1, so fly through it at high speed. The timer stops when you clear gate 10. Remember, you must fly through each gate in sequence. Gate 1 is up ahead to the right of the runway. A 5 second time penalty will be assessed for each pylon that is clipped, so stay in the middle of the gate when passing through. Okay, I'm not going to bother to turn around to gain altitude and speed to dive for gate 1. It, it don't make sense I do all of that to pass through gate 1 with all that speed Turn and I just have to end up doing multiple passes for gates whatever that was gate 6 and that touch and go Sorry, that was gate 5. Gate 5 has to be completed in knife edge. After gate 4, you must go vertical before going to gate 5. Alright, I'm giving myself some space. Pulling up. 
Good job going vertical. Now pass through gate 5 in knife edge with at least 60 degrees of bank. Alright, so how you would normally do that is you approach from one side of the gate. Then you bank. Good pass on gate 5. Yeah. Now go to gate 6. Now cut across the runway for gate 7. After gate 7, you must go vertical again before making a touch and go. Give yourself some space, then pull up for the vertical. Alright. Vertical. Nice and easy. Now that you've gone vertical, do a touch and go on the chalk stripe across the runway. And touch. Your main no! wheel must touch the chalk line for the touch and go to count. Try it again. I missed. Half frontal. Pull back. This part here, this touching down this chalk strip. Hit it. Touch. <gasps> no, I did touch. Bastards. And of course, you know, you can't exactly dive to touch because. You're gonna break your gear. And if you break your gear, well, mission over. No. I'm surprised no one jumps in in Steam Edition multiplayer in the extra 300. You just jump in with the. FA-18s and a bunch of craziness. <gasps> really? That's disappointing. Maybe I should just try and touch down before the chalk strike. Because I'm guessing it's kind of difficult for me to gauge my altitude. And I don't exactly want to you know, push the nose down into the chalk. This is embarrassing. Alright, touch done before and let's go, 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 go. Good touch and go. Now cut across the runway for gate eight. Good touch and go. Shut up. Cut back across the runway again for quad gate nine. I don't like this gate nine because this, the bush is like right there. You're almost done. Now turn to line up for the finish at gate ten across the runway. Five second penalty for hitting the pylon. Nope. Okay, Bastard. Oh my god. Just I was just when I was supposed to land. Let's see, refly? Yes? No? Yes. Refly. It's almost as if the sim's like, oh you did an action? Let me get, do a reaction and hold Complete it. Complete the course as quickly as possible. The timer starts when you enter gate 1, so fly through it at high speed. The timer stops when you clear gate 10. Remember, you must fly through each gate in sequence. Gate 1 is up ahead to the right of the runway. A 5 second time penalty will be assessed for each pylon that is clipped, so stay in the middle of the gate when passing through.
turn hard to gate two on the other side of the right. field. Gates, gates one. Now for G A T E two. Now it's G A I T. Cross the field to gate three. Turn to gate four. Hello, hello. Crap. After gate four, you must I go definitely hit that pylon. Five. five second penalty for hitting the pylon. I know, I know. Bastard. Good job going vertical. Now pass through gate five in knife edge with at least 60 degrees of bank. Good pass on gate five. Now go to gate six. Now cut across the runway for gate seven. Five second penalty for hitting the pylon. I did not hit After the gate pylon. seven, the you gates. must go vertical again before making a touch and go. Give yourself some space, then pull up for the vertical. Now that you've gone vertical, do a touch and go on the chalk stripe across the runway. Ooh, okay, yeah. I'll have to do multiple passes again for this chalk stripe. I can feel it. Your main wheels must yep. touch the chalk line for the touch and go to count. Try it again. I'm pretty sure it's against regulation to do a loop from ground level. Like, when it comes to aerobatics, you know, it looks like uncontrolled movements, but trust me, these guys and girls are doing some very very precise movements with their aircraft and they are governed by specific um, safety minimums too. No! Oh, Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be here for a while. Alright, that chase plane view is kind of bothering me, that's why it you saw the thing like rolling in the turn usually I would just maintain that turn properly but the chase plane view moves too it pretends that you have a head and the head is moving relative to what um, the inertia of the aircraft And touch no <laughs> Oh we're gonna be here a while. Alright, so so far the only missions we have completed was the UFO intercept and the helicopter mission. Alright, coming down the center line. We're dangerously slow. We are about 80 knots just now. Nope, that does not count. God. And you know they won't even let me skip the gate for like a 10 second penalty or something. Just gonna let that timer run. Alright, close throttle. Bank. Yank. Roll out. Okay, roll out. Roll out a bit too early. We're at about 90 knots. Slow speed won't help me, I need precision in landing. And touch. Good touch and go. Now Good touch and go. Shut up. Shut, shut your ass up. But good touch and go. Cut back across the runway again for quad gate 9. That took forever to do. Oh, don't crash into the trees. You're almost done. Now turn to line up for the finish at gate 10 across the runway. Five second penalty for hitting the pylon.
Okay, you've cleared gate 10. Go ahead and land on the way. 5 minutes 26 seconds. Jeez, that's that's terrible. All right, so I'm going to climb and decrease throttle. What they what they do in real life? Is, not sure if it's for raci racing in general, but I know for pylon racing, they climb climb to a high altitude to cool down the engine. I think cheese plane messed up my view. Yep. Okay, so I'm guessing I probably have to pull back for this landing so that I don't bounce. I already hate bouncing. Alright, brakes. Your objective was to land on the runway. Take off and try it again. <laughs> wow. So mean. After all of that, give me shit again. Yeah, we did it, but should take off. What's a landing the runway? Hold some back pressure on the stick. Back pressure, back pressure, good. Brakes. Congratulations on successfully finishing Oof. the course and landing. That was Here tough. are a few tricks to get a faster time. No, I don't want to hear no damn tricks. Alright, what did we say? What did I say we would do after after the uh, Red Bull Fear mission? Oh, a jet mission. Transition to jets. Yeah, let's do. Actually, let's yeah, let's do a transition to jets. I say let's do a transition to jets, and then let's go straight past it. Brilliant. All right, hour and fifty-five minutes, and I'm not sure if my voice is as loud as the music, but let's bring the music down. Nah, no, it should be fine. In the actual game, the audio is not as loud as how the music is playing out here. Nobody is watching the stream. Okay, it says one person is watching my stream. This flight is just a quick 35-mile repositioning from Edinburgh to Glasgow without any passengers on board. Edinburgh, Scotland. A good opportunity Scotland. to get you checked out on the Bombardier CRJ 700. While we're waiting in line for takeoff, I'll explain a few things. Flying a modern jet isn't really all that different from flying a small prop plane. See, one thing I've noticed from the FS 2020 uh, material. If you want to call it that, is that uh, you have like exposure compensation. So outside of the airplane, it's a lot brighter than inside of the airplane. 
when you focus on inside, outside gets brighter. So that's kind of cool. And I also hope that uh, they give you the option to make, to take screenshots as PNG format or RAW, uh, just like on the DSLR. Because this BMP is not, this BMP for a Steam Edition is not up to scratch. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, definitely check out my video, my uh, FS2020 wishlist or something like that. And see all the features I want to see in FS2020. Glass displays like these take some time to get used to. The display to the right of the PFD is the navigation display, which shows a top-down view of the aircraft's position relative to navigational aids and the flight plan route. You can change how the map looks by using the format and range knobs on the left side of the panel. Try it now if you want to. Format and range. Okay. The third display is the Engine Indication and Crew Alerting System, or ICAS. The default page shows engine information, gear and flap positions, fuel quantity, and warning and caution messages. You can scroll through the different ICAS screens by clicking the up and down buttons at the bottom of the display. Each screen nice. provides information about a different aircraft system. Oh, nice! For this flight, keep the engine gauges showing on the ICAS. The top gauges are labeled N1. As we fly, I'll give you suggested thrust settings. Use your joystick throttle lever or the F2 and F3 keys to move the N1 needles to the settings I suggest. This is the first time I've actually the rows of buttons and knobs just um, the toggled these the knobs. Control panel for the autopilot. We won't be using the autopilot on this flight, so don't worry about any of that for now. That's pretty cool. A big difference between jets and piston aircraft is that in a jet, the engines take a while to spool up. This means that if you add or reduce thrust, there will be a slight delay before your action has any effect. This fact, combined with the jet's higher speed, means that you need to plan ahead. Mm -hmm. Keep telling the, the, the kids in, in uh, the Discord server I am like in. Aircraft. They're used during takeoff and landing to increase both lift and drag. Lower the flaps to 20 degrees for takeoff now by pressing the F7 key three times. You can see the flap indicator on the ICAS. Robert 526, hold short, one six right. We'll hold short six right, orbit 526. Okay, follow the 737 ahead of us, but hold short of the runway. Release the brakes by pressing the period key and apply some thrust to get us going. And also, keep telling the, the kids in the Discord server that you need to taxi just as fast as you can walk. I've seen them taxiing at like 50 knots on the taxi. I'm like, Yo, what are you Good. guys Stop doing? Here. One last thing. During the takeoff roll, I'll call out four speeds. When I call 80 knots, glance at your airspeed tape to verify it's moving and indicating approximately the same speed as mine. When I call V1, it means we're at the speed where we're committed to taking off because there isn't enough runway to stop at that point. When really? I say rotate, gently means. pull back on the stick and rotate the nose into the air. Finally, I'll call V2 when we reach the minimum safety speed at which we can safely climb on just one engine if there's Oops, a failure. Sorry. Okay, so I've been doing the V1, V2, but I didn't exactly know what those what those callouts mean. So V1 is if you... the minimum speed that you can do the... you can abort. And V2 is speed to climb up. I can't talk when people are talking at the same time, you know. Yeah, V2 is a speed that you have to... Never mind. Press Shift 5 to display the overhead panel and turn on the landing light by clicking the switch in the lower left corner. Then press Shift 5 again to close the overhead. Before we take off, let's review exactly what will happen. You'll control the aircraft, I'll handle the radios. I'll call out 80 knots, V1, rotate, and V2. When I say rotate, gently pull back on the stick to raise the nose to 15 degrees nose up on the primary flight display. I'll tell you to retract the landing gear once we're climbing. Once we reach 1,000 feet above the runway, I'll tell you to pitch down to 10 degrees nose up and to raise the flaps so we can accelerate. Our initial climb will be to our cruise altitude of 6,000 feet, and the departure controller will probably tell us to make a left turn to... 
kind of weird that Chase Plane pauses when you open it up. Pauses flight sim when you open it up. Zoom out, yep. I just like zooming out a bit. I'll let you know when to turn. Orbit 526, wind the cam, runway 6 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, orbit 526. Alright, we're cleared to go. When you're ready, use the throttle lever on your joystick or press the F3 key to add thrust. Start with 50% N1. 50%. Let the engine stabilize and then increase thrust to 100%. And we're at 50%, engine stabilize. Let's go full power. Uh, look at the screen shaking up for the cheese pain. That's really nice. 80 knots. 80 knots. Mm hmm. V1. Yep. Rotate. Slowly pitch up to 15 degrees. V2. Positive rate, gear up. Raise the landing gear by pressing the G key. Gear is coming up. Over 526, contact the bathroom. Orbit 526, switching. Right, okay, then. move the stick to adjust pitch to 10 degrees nose up on the primary flight display, and raise the flaps. Reduce thrust to about 80% and 1 to keep our speed below 250 knots. Climb and maintain 6,000 feet. Nice. See, they don't do, they don't tell you all of that when you're doing the, um, when you're doing, uh, IFR flights. In, orbit in free flight. Turn left, heading to seven zero. Left to two seven zero. Orbit five twenty six. Okay, it's time for the turn. Make a nice easy left turn until our heading is two hundred and seventy degrees. That's due west. Let's run through the after takeoff checklist. Landing gear up. Yep. Flaps up. Yep. Confirmed. Thrust set to eighty percent and one for the climb. After takeoff checklist complete. Oh, those numbers are percent. Somehow I mean, obviously, the numbers mean percent. Alright, let's adjust for 80%. Level off at 6,000 feet and reduce thrust to about 60% and 1. That should give us about 250 knots. Alright, I am decreasing we'll altitude now. We'll stay low on this short flight, so don't exceed 250 knots and keep the landing lights on. This is standard practice, below 10,000 feet. Alright, so I am descending. No, I'm supposed to be descending. I'm going to just reduce throttle Orbit to idle. Resume own navigation. Resume own navigation. Orbit okay, so tell me what that means. Alright, we've been told to resume our own navigation. This means the controller will no longer be giving us vectors, and we should follow our filed flight plan. Okay, so our that's what that means. Our flight plan route takes us to a point that will line us up for an approach to Glasgow's runway 23, which is currently the active runway. You can use the mission compass to navigate to that point, or you can follow our flight plan on the map page of the navigation display. The pink line on the screen is the path we should be following. Nice! Alright, we're coming up on 6,000. Let's level off. That's where these flights are. Are very easy with autopilot. Like rolling out on your heading, maintaining a specific altitude and a specific speed. Yeah. That's somewhat difficult when you're hand flying it. But you know, I'm taking this flight sim stuff seriously. So, it helps me become a better virtual pilot, you know? Flying within constraints instead of just full throttling and just intercepting all, like AI traffic in an F FE 18. Just gonna do these missions and learn how to fly properly. I wonder if this guy will give me crap for turning on the autopilot, because this is kind of getting, err, it's kind of kind of weird.
but I'm just staring at my staring at my speed and staring at my altitude let's bring up my GPS alright six minutes uh, I really want to turn on the autopilot I don't want to hand fly it so far for so long let's see what will we do after we reach six minutes okay so we turn left then do the approach nice not bad all right I'm also look at looking at my uh, rate of climb you want to keep a handle keep a close eye on that Okay, so, oh no, not nice, we are descending. Actually, I should be able to just trim this aircraft out and fly, like, you know, hands-free. I can't do that with my throttle because my throttle levers, they would move over time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim this aircraft out. Trim it for cruise. Orbit 526, contact nope. Glasgow approach on 119.1. Orbit 526, switching. Thanks. Glasgow approach, orbit 526 with you. Orbit 526, Glasgow approach. Good morning. Reduce speed to... Good morning, how courteous. Expect vectors for the visual approach, runway 23 at Glasgow. Glasgow altimeter, 29902. Slowing to 210 and we'll expect the visual for runway 23. All right, let me pause real quick. You see, they don't tell you all of that when you're doing your, your um, IFR flights for um, in free flight. They don't tell you to reduce speed. You have to guess. And, you know, I, I don't know this stuff. I mean, I could probably read up on it. Flight Sim gives you an excellent learning center so you can actually look, um, read up on stuff. But, you know, Tower needs to tell me this stuff. In the missions they're like yes they give you all the information you need but not not in real not any um, free flights 26 bring the thrust back to about 50 percent n1 then adjust it to maintain 210 knots since the weather's good the controller will line us up with the runway and give us clearance to proceed to the airport visually once we have the runway in sight all right so i i just want to trim out the airplane now should have done that a while ago my thrust is at 52.3% N1, which is, you know, about 50%. Oops. Right. Orbit 526, descend and maintain 3000. Oh, shit. Descend and maintain well, 3000, orbit 526. I can't trim the aircraft out okay, now because that's a descent. Okay, we've got clearance descend. to descend to 3000 feet. Reduce thrust to idle and gently push forward on the stick to take us down. Pitch to about seven degrees nose down to maintain two hundred and ten knots as we descend. In free flight, they do tell you about changing your altitude, but they don't tell you about uh, reducing speed. I guess you just have to get good if you want to fly. Let me. I'm looking at my stream on my phone and my flag is kind of bothering me now. It's turned the wrong way. Yes, this is how. This is how the golden arrowhead should be viewed. Alright, I was practically flying hands off just now. Let's trim down a bit more. Alright, alright, alright. 
I wonder if there's like a physical trim dial so I could see what the trim is. I know there is one on the seven, two seven, I believe. Well, on the other, if rock is a big wheel like around here. Where is that on the CRG? Oh, right up, so, right here. So it's almost neutral, neutral pitch. Orbit 526, reduce speed to 180 knots. Slowing to 180, orbit 526. Okay, now reduce thrust a bit to slow to 180 knots. Pull back on the stick a bit to keep the nose from dropping. Maintain 3,000 feet as you slow down. Alright, we're heading to 3,000 feet. Alright, 3,400. I'm guessing that thing in the blue, that's my radar altimeter. I did not know the CRG had a radar altimeter. Okay, level off here at 3,000 feet and bring the thrust back up to about 50% and 1 to maintain 210 knots. Alright, let's bring that up over there. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. This here in the blue, this is probably my radar altimeter. It's kind of cool. We are at descending to 3100. The earth's altitude above the ground. Turn left heading 230. Vectors for the visual approach runway 23. Report the runway in sight. Left to 230. Oh, looking sorry. for the runway. Orbit 526. Here we go. Turn left to 230 degrees. We should see the runway straight ahead once we roll out. Yeah, I just moved okay, that I see the um, display because Approach it was my webcam was blocking. Orbit 526, cleared visual approach, runway 23. 23? This guy has a Reduce bit of a speech, 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 impedi the speech impediment. Speech impediment. Press F7 twice to lower the flaps to 8 degrees. The flaps will slow us down, so bring the thrust back up to about 60% and 1, so we maintain 180 <gasps> Oh no, we Lower rolled. the landing gear by pressing G and lower full flaps as we slow down. Press F7 three times. Oh no, guys. Oh no, In we rolled out too like this, slowly. The speed you land at changes depending on how heavy you are. At our current weight, our final approach speed will be 130 knots. Adjust thrust to maintain 130 knots as we descend toward the runway. We took too long to turn out. Look, the this is how the airport is on our stream. Oh no! Don't worry, I am very accustomed to doing this, doing a bunch of S turns to uh, line myself up. All right, so now I'm going to do a right turn. It looks like we're on the glide slope. Now the notch of flaps, let's go 20%. Uh, we don't need to see this anymore. And let's see, roll out, roll out. Ah, uh, we're a bit left of the runway. Orbit 526, contact tower on 118.8. Switching to tower now, orbit 526. Thanks. And so we'll have to do Left another tower, left orbit turn. 526 with you on the visual approach for runway 23. Orbit 526, Glasgow Tower, you're number one. Clear to land, runway 23. Wind calm. Clear to land, orbit 526. Oh, they're not your flaps. We're clear to land, so let's run through the before landing checklist. It's a short one. Landing gear, down. Yep, confirmed. Flaps, set to 45 degrees. Alright, let's set flaps. Landing checklist complete. Flaps at 45. Continue descending. Once we're about 50 feet over the runway, reduce thrust to idle and pull back on the stick slightly to touch down on the main wheels first. Then slowly lower the nose. Uh, we might end up in the grass. We're coming in on the right, to the right sink of the runway. Sink rate. No, not sink rate. Don't sink. No, I can't Don't sink. sink. I'm not sinking. Don't sink. Oh, well, maybe I am. Don't sink. Let's bring the nose up a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm below the glide slope now. I can see, I can see the lights. Okay, I am on glide slope now. Okay, now I'm below the glide slope. All right, 
that I'm on glide slope. Okay, so I'm just a bit below glide slope, and I have managed to line myself up on the runway. Okay, I'm very much below the glide slope now. Let's bring my nose up. 180 feet, 160 feet. Okay, we're coming into the right of the center line. 120 feet above the, above the ground. And I don't need to look at the glide slope thing anymore. 60 feet, 50 feet, 40 feet. Okay, we're at flight idle. 25, 10, 9, touch, reverse thrust, speed brakes. Very nice. Alright, deactivate reverse thrust, deactivate speed brakes, close up flaps. Let's try to stay on the runway here. Come on, tell me good job. Come on, I landed on the runway. I did land on the runway, come on. Tell me I did a good job. Oh, look at this horrible stuff that Flight Sim did. That shadow is weird. But hey, I landed. Tell me I landed. Why, why is it not telling me I'm, I landed? Okay, well I landed. I know for sure I landed and I did the mission before. Um, the transition to jet sets. I did the mission before, so I don't need like them to tell me oh, you need to do the mission. Stick to approach. Okay, two minutes and nineteen seconds. Three viewers. Hey, welcome, traveler. Welcome to the FSX style channel. Uh, be sure to check out the description. I have uh, links to the. Um, I did a video a couple of days ago about the specs for fs2020 basically those specifications that fs20 that those specifications that microsoft listed they're no good so if you're building a new pc based off of those specs for flight sim 20 based off of those specs that microsoft give for flight sim 2020 don't do that watch my video go into the um comments and you will see what i um i made it like a graph to show you okay if you want to build a new pc here is what to build go to those time codes and build pc based off of those graphs and i also have links in the description so that you guys can see um the pc um okay the That's specific Nick, parts right ahead of us. now that we're clear of the mountains we can start descending toward the runway reduce power and let's start down the wind is blowing from the west so we'll land on runway two niner we always want to land into the wind yep Oh, I also have um, the links in the description of this video. I was not sure what compelled me to do the that, traffic. but I did. Right See that Cessna caravan out there? We can follow him all the way to the airport. I'll announce our position so he knows we're here. Sitka traffic, Cessna 6 Charlie Mike, 8 miles southeast. We'll be straight in for runway 29er. We have the caravan in sight. That's a bit preemptive. The, the tower did not see look out for the caravan. Okay, that was weird for our flight sim not to show me. Not to show the airplane. I guess we're descending. Yeah, so definitely if you're looking to build a PC for Traffic. Flight Sim 2020, check out the links in this video's description for the, the minimum. All the way in. Add a notch of flaps and slow down a bit. We can't land until he's off the runway. Yeah, we'll make it. I'm not gonna add the flaps now. Anyway, um, yeah, don't look for look don't. And the, the parts that I put on my video, in my uh, video description, 
for minimum and recommended those parts are actually better than the recommend than the parts that um, Microsoft listed so if you build a minimum spec machine your minimum spec will be a better minimum spec than if you built it based off of Microsoft's um, recommendations so if your minimum and your recommended it's going to be your experience for minimum and recommended it's going to be a lot okay. better Maneuver than the default to start lining up with the runway. But to me, the only thing that really, really matters is your internet connection. They can recommend you get a good internet connection, and I think that instead of buying new parts to upgrade for FS2020, just get better internet. I definitely have to upgrade my um, my CPU because I have the Ryzen 3 2200G APU. I bought that before I bought my um, R X570 graphics card. I bought the APU because I didn't have enough money to buy a graphics card, so I was using the onboard graphics at the time. Since I have dedicated graphics, now I'm using the dedicated graphics, but it's... To me, I'm not really getting that much improvement in Flight Sim. That's because Flight Sim is CPU bound. Flight sim is like they like um higher clock speeds. So sure you could have a multi-core GPU. Alright, let's start adding our flaps now because that plane is now landing. Yeah, so flight sim really likes um clock speeds. So even if you have a multi-core GPU, flight sim would only use like one core and run that core run that core ragged as they would say. Let's see my frame rates. I am getting between 45 and 50. It's dipping down to 32 a bit. But looking outside, it's still clear. Outside, it's still not jaggedy. Since I've been flat, um, playing flight sim for about 10 years Score now. 65 knots and add the rest of the flaps as we slow down. Let's maintain 65 knots on final. Yeah, since I've been traffic, flying, tango, playing flight sim for about 10 years now, I could tell you, traffic, Cessna, you need Mike on final for runway two beer minimum, okay. the runway is ours. beer minimum, you need um, 15 frames per second for a smooth flight sim experience. But you might be saying, what? PC Masteries is offended. 15 frames per second? Yeah. Unless you're flying something like a helicopter or like high performance aircraft like the uh, extra 300 or the F or the FA-18 you don't need you don't need more than 15 frames per second 20 frames per second sir, is ideal anything higher than that you can't really see and I don't think flight sim would really appreciate flight sim would can't really display those um, frames well it could run it at higher frame rates like if I look let's see I look over here I'm getting 80 70 80 frames per second whoa why am I turning um, yeah it all depends on what you're looking at but if you're in the cockpit view 15 frames per second is good enough 300. Oh, I have some wind coming from my right. That's why I was wondering why I was like crabbing so much. Alright, we're on the glide slope. Very nice. Very, very nice. We're holding 6 to 5 knots. See, that's that's some good throttle discipline I'm I'm um, practicing and maintaining. Still on glide slope. Oh, we're coming down on a touchdown. 
Oh, beautiful. Mwah. Très magnifique. Let's reduce our. Let's bring up our flaps. Nice landing. Thank you. Ping, 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 ping. Whoops, oops, I did not mean to double click that. I am. Um, nope. Four or five minutes, we don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I want to do another jet mission. Room. Let's see. Now let's do the, th the half hour mission. With this mission, I, hopefully, I, I can, I'll do the. Autopilot. Yeah. Oh, if you go to my YouTube channel and you go to the first video I've ever uploaded on my channel, that video was like between four and seven frames per second. So trust me when I say that flight sim doesn't need more than tw than 15 frames per second. Depending if I say that, well, let's say 20 frames per second. Flight sim doesn't need more than 20 frames per second. I have been flying at 4 to 7 frames per second, so trust me. Flight sim will need more than 20. On this flight. Hold short of the runway and I'll get our takeoff clearance. But I'm already holding Viewing short. Tower, orbit 221, ready to go. Holding short, one six right. Oh, that's Orbit nice. 221, cleared for takeoff. Maintain runway heading, climb and maintain 4,000. Clear for takeoff, Orbit 221. Okay, we're cleared for takeoff. Turn on the landing lights and then turn left onto the runway and let's head to Naples. After takeoff, maintain runway heading, climb to maintain 4,000. Nice. Wait, did he say I can take off? Let's go shift F10. Uh, messages. Oh yeah, we're clear for takeoff. And did you say what flap setting we should use? Are we using any flaps? Uh, I'm just gonna add one notch of flaps. Okay. Oh, we already have flaps done. And he said climb to meet climb and maintain 4,000. Alright. Fifty percent. Okay, now we're way past fifty percent. We're at like ninety percent. That's fine. The engine is has already stabilized. You didn't do your eight and out call out. V1. V1. Rotate. Rotate. V2. 15 degrees and hold it. Positive rate, gear up. Gear is coming up. Set flap zero. Orbit 221, contact Rome departure Flaps on 129.0. Have a nice flight. Orbit 221, switching to departure, thanks. Rome departure, orbit 221 with you, climbing to 4000. Orbit 221, Rome departure, radar contact, time and maintain 6000. Proceed direct, practice the mare. Practice the mare. 6000, direct, practice the mare. Orbit 221. All right, Captain. Climb to 6000 and fly direct to the practice the mare NDB. Let's run through the after takeoff checklist. Landing gear up. Flaps set to zero. After takeoff checklist complete. All right, let's turn to the practice the mare. Actually, I don't want to hand fly this. I don't want to hand fly this. Ah, goddamn chase plane. I hate it when that happens. So what I have to do is shift one. Yeah, chase plane is a real bastard. But it's a good bastard, I like it. Just had some teething problems. Have a look out to the left. There's Rome. Ooh, I want to see Rome. Rome looks like a bunch of dirt. Oh, stop climbing. 
Ah, uh, okay, that's autopilot. Six thousand. All right, I'm just gonna pause it. This see auto throttle, not yet. Oh, need to push to engage the altitude hold. And there is a thing that you push to touch to follow this pink line, the magenta line. Uh, what is it called? Approach. Oh. I might as well do my speed. Set my speed. Let's do 200. And yes, that is nice. Auto throttle on. Speed hold on. Orbit 221, contact Rome Center on 124.8. Orbit 221, switching to Rome Center. Thanks. One of these buttons helped me to fly to Rome the Center, thing. Orbit 221 with you, climbing to 6,000. Orbit 221, climb and maintain 1-1,000. Up to 1-1,000, 1, 1, orbit 221. Okay, we're clear to climb to 11,000 feet. 11,000. Nice. 11,000, but what's the thing so that I turn to the thing? Now I'm just going to do that manually. Ten. That looks about right. Heading old. We're crossing over the product at a mark NDB. Turn to a heading of 092 degrees and fly to the Frosinone VOR. Sorry, 092. And what VOR did he say? Frost, frosty noon. Pretty sure he did not say that. See, the cheese pen has some teething problems. That's Yes! Perfect. Okay. Better. Okay, well, I'm guessing I'm already in nav mode. A thousand to go. Turn the landing lights and the seatbelt sign off. Level off at 11,000 feet and set cruise thrust. Don't exceed 340 knots. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign, indicating that it is safe to move about the cabin. For your own safety, though, we request that you keep your seatbelt fastened when you're in your seat during this short flight. We'll start our in-flight beverage service shortly. Hmm, I could use some in-flight beverage service myself. Why doesn't it show me what this gauge does? Like, over here it doesn't show me what the gauges do. Altimeter calibration up. Flight director on. Well, I don't need that now. Landmark 63, contact Rome Center on 128.8. Tell me Landmark what it does. It doesn't. Thanks. Okay, well, we're at 11,000 feet. Uh, we're at whatever heading we are at. We are at. Our speed, we're holding at 300 and Three, five knots. Still trying to figure out the thing that you push so that you fly along the magenta line. Oh, this GPS. 
there we go I, oops, I went from nav to GPS let's turn off the heading hold so we're supposed to turn left nope we're actually flying away from magenta line So from nav to GPS. What else am I supposed to do? See this is a lot easier in the Boeing Boeing aircraft. Let's turn the heading hold switch on. it when you turn your heading switch it rolls to the right and then it it, it rolls back to the left like, how about you just don't roll right in the first place don't do that all right in two minutes we are going to reach another um, NDB okay not bad all right so let me pick up my phone 19% battery all right so there's no one no one really in my um, no one is watching my stream much spa much sad but it is what it is all right so just about to look to see if anyone was commenting if anyone had a comment or a question for me The answer to that question is a resounding no. Alright, let's see if my hand, if my video is still working. Because I haven't really been touching, I haven't really been touching my, um, what you call it, my joystick. Since we've, I'm playing in autopilot. It's gonna be a while. Let's see how long it's gonna to take to get to the other. Oh, it's gonna take not long at all. All right, pretty soon I'll have to turn again. I'm not sure what that does. So we're coming up on the FRES VOR. Then we have to change heading again. After we change heading, I'm going to find um, a cable to charge my phone. We're crossing over the Frosinone VOR. Turn to a heading of 123 degrees and fly to the Teano VOR. 123 degrees, alright. Let me go really quick to find my um, thing for my phone. Up to 11,000 now. World travel 116. You see something? Reduce stress to stay below 340 knots. I'm guessing I'm at 340 knots. Let's, let's reduce to 330. From center, blue yonder 562 request. Blue yonder 562, go ahead. Any chance we can get a shortcut to Reggio Calabria? Blue yonder 562, stand by. Alright. 
Alright, so my phone is charging. Is it? It is. Nice. Now I'm kinda getting hungry. So after this mission after this mission we'll call it the D. Yes, he did say turn heading 1, 2, 3. And I was at 1, 3, 2, so I'm just turning back to 1, 2, 3. I'm looking at this and I'm like, yo, this don't look great. Again, I need to find a thing so that I can fly along the magenta line. You set it to GPS and then you set it to somewhere else. Flight director is on. This is approach hold, nav hold, nav hold, that's what I needed, and you guys did not tell me anything, nav hold, so now I'm going to turn to the magenta line, I'm going to intercept the magenta line and then I'm going to turn back, so you're going to intercept it from the right, then we're going to turn left to fly alongside it, what the hell? Oh, my dog seriously uh, arguing. Alright, I'm just moving my hands now to ensure that the stream, that my thing did not freeze. Now you're not going to see any action with regards to my hands because I'm playing in the autopilot. Yo, I'm like Loki kind of hungry, not Loki. Heike kind of hungry. Yo, I could use some of that in-flight beverage service that we're they're offering. Okay, so it seems as if my video has frozen. Yep, seems like my video has frozen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off my camera. Then I'm going to turn it back on. Hey, welcome back to the world. Alright, so we're coming up on the Tiano VOR. Crossing the VOR, turn to a heading of 106 degrees and fly to a Gotti intersection. Alright, well, hopefully I touch the right buttons and it will do it automatically for me. Hey, it did! Contact Naples approach on 124.35. Orbit 221, switching to approach, thanks. It did, it did, it did. Naples approach, Orbit 221 with you. Orbit 221 Naples approach. Expect radar vectors for the visual approach, runway 24. Naples altimeter 2992. Looks like we're gonna get the visual approach. That'll make things easy for us. Oh, you need to respond. Respond to the tower. Guess not. So I touched the right buttons and the plane is turning to maintain on the uh, the new magenta line. Very nice. If I was so inclined, I would look up the ILS frequency for the runway and uh, just do a full ILS approach, but I want to practice landing, um, hand flying it, landing manually. Yes, I am very good with words. The next time I come on stream, I should probably do a video about landing in severe crosswinds. And yeah, that'll be fun. 
but then no one really watches these videos live so can hurt my feelings but it'll be there for whoever wants to go through my back catalog yes just just saw that my hand was moving on the stream all right pretty soon I'll just pop this out resize the panel a bit yep oh no it doesn't seem as if I resize it just seems as if I just push it to say resize yes muy bien Alright, two minutes to this new waypoint. Oh, also, when you are making your own ILS, ILS missions, your ILS flight plans, they don't give you these um, waypoints. You have to make your own waypoints. I guess you could go VOR to VOR, but if you're doing a short flight with no VORs, like, how is that going to happen? How are you going to do that? Alright, let's open up my chat. I don't know if anyone else has joined my stream. Nope, no one has joined my stream. It's only me. All by myself. Whoop, I just turned up my volume. Yep, it's just me. My lonesome in my stream. All by myself. Approach landmark 618 has a runway in sight. Landmark 618 cleared for the visual approach runway 24. Cleared for the visual approach landmark 618. Okay, so pretty soon we're gonna landmark descend and reduce our speed. Contact the tower. Over to tower now, landmark 618. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna reduce my speed before. I reduce my altitude because we are like 10 knots below our um, maximum speed at least for this particular flight so what I'm going to do I'm going to reduce our speed first then I reduce our altitude all right we have seven miles to go I can see the seven miles on this um, GPS and maintain 7,000. Down to 7,000, orbit 221. You catch that, Captain? Descend to 7,000 feet. Did you catch that, Captain? Of course I caught it. Alright, reduce our speed first. And then down to 7,000. Let's hold. Now that we're descending below 10,000 feet, Turn the landing lights and the seatbelt sign on, and reduce your speed to 250 knots. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now commencing our descent into Naples. We hope you've enjoyed this short flight. Hope you'll join us again. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for landing. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign. In preparation for landing, please make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in the upright and fully locked position. We'll be making a final pass through the cabin to pick up any service items, and we'll be on the ground shortly. Orbit 221, turn right, heading 210. Reduce speed to 180 knots. Right to 210, slowing to 180. Orbit 221. Start a right turn now to a heading of 210 degrees. Reduce thrust to bring our speed back to 180 knots. Set flaps 1. Flaps 1. Alright, let's get rid of our GPS. Alright, my stats coming down, my flaps coming down. Yeah, shut up. Let's go back into the virtual cockpit. Orbit 221, turn right heading 240. Descend and maintain 3000. Report the runway in sight. Right to 240, down to 3000, orbit 221. We're almost there, Captain. Turn right to 240 degrees and descend to 3000 feet. Oh, sorry, I am not exactly following um, headings. Oh, we 
we're supposed to be a lot slower but since we're below um, 10,000 feet we're still well we're still below um, 250 knots so that's at least that is good all right we're going to intercept this magenta line and turn back into it yeah Let's so really level off. I think our approach before the um see like when we were coming down here, I think this approach was too fast. That's why we did turn so wide. But it's all good. Four minutes to go. we are at flight idle or at least very very close to it we're through the clouds oh no this is not VFR flight anymore all right and we the runway has not loaded up as yet all right I'm just gonna open up the speed brakes and close it. All right, we're coming up in 180 knots. Naples is 12, 12.2 nautical miles. Okay, there is the runway. Looks as if we are a bit to the right. Let's open up the GPS again. Three minutes. Alright, we have just broken. We're below 5,000 feet now. Oh, you guys can't we see that. Inside, orbit 221. We're below 5,000 feet. Orbit 221, cleared for the visual approach. Runway 24. Cleared for the visual, orbit 221. That's the airport about eight miles ahead, just northeast of the city. Continue descending to the runway and maintain 180 knots. The airport is about 300 feet above sea level. Alright, so I'm going to just keep on doing that. Oh, why is this gauge glitching out? That's so weird. I think it's weird. Orbit 221, contact Naples Tower now on 118.5. Orbit 221, roger. Looks as if we're destined for this lopsided Naples approach. Naples Tower, Orbit 221 on the visual approach for runway 24. Orbit 221, Two minutes. Tower with calm, runway 24. We're coming up, we're coming up the on land, the ILS feather now. Okay, we're cleared to land. Lower the landing gear, slowly add full flaps, and reduce your speed to 140 knots for the approach. 140 knots, so let's decrease this some more. Are we at 3000? Oh yes, I guess we are. So what I'm going to do... Disengage auto throttle. Disengage the master. And... I need to find out why these airplanes are always banking left. Global enable. Alright. Yeah, I, I thought this thing would have lined me up properly, but it seems as if it's putting us to the right a bit. Uh, let's see. Flaps are full. Gear down and locked. Let's run through the before landing checklist. Landing gear, down. Flaps, set to full. Landing checklist complete. Huh. I did the landing checklist before you. Alright. We're hand flying it now. That's gonna bring up that um, primary flight display. Yep. We are above our glide slope. And we are above our speed, we're supposed to be at 140 knots now. All 
Alright, it seems as if we're going to be lined up properly on the runway. So I'm not mad at that at all. Let's see, are we at full flaps? Yep, we are at full flaps. Oh, we're coming in to the right. A little bit of speed brakes. Sink rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull yeah. up. Pull All right, up. close speed brakes. All right, we're on glide slope now. We're going below Sink the rate. glide slope. No, 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 no. We're above glide slope now. Yeah, we're just floating. Just jerk the throttle a bit to ensure that we're at flight idle. And we're coming in high, but we're gonna make this. Speed brakes. Touchdown. Reverse thrust. Brakes. Orbit to 21. Welcome to name. Continue rollout. Turn left and taxi we Bravo. Ground on point niner. Orbit 221. Oh, we're continuing. Keep taxiing toward the end of the runway. Bravo is the second taxiway from the end. Okay. We landed. No. Our thing conked out again. I'm Take looking a left at here on taxiway Bravo. I'm looking at my stream and it's saying EOS brought webcam utility, so let's turn off my camera. And then turn it back on. Stop here. Set flap zero, check spoilers down. Yep. Naples ground orbit Did that 221. Already. Orbit 221, taxi to the terminal. To the terminal, orbit 221. Taxi straight ahead. We park at gate A3. That's just to the right of that other A321. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Naples. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop at the gate. This airplane actually looks kind of cool. This airplane actually looks kind of cool. Sign. It's been our pleasure to serve you, and we hope you'll choose to fly with us again soon. Have a great day here in Naples, or wherever your final destination may be. Right. I'm surprised that the thing just stopped right there. The lines on the taxiway, they just stopped right there. Set the parking brake, turn off the fastened seatbelt sign, and shut her down. Nice flying, Captain. Yes, nice flying indeed. Ha 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 ha. Pa Captain's Epulet. Yes. Alright, oh. Before we end the stream, let's just go over to my pilot's records. Uh, so you guys should see how great I am. Salesman ship. What did I get this for? Oh, the Airbus Airshow Pass. Photo Pass. Foot ah. 10 landings at airports. 200 landings. Landings at 100 airports. 400 landings. It's kind of weird that I have more landings than landings at airports, but we're not going to talk about that. 25 total hours. Oh, total hours flying time. Okay. Uh, 25 multi engine hours. Nice, nice. Ear metal ribbon. Scar tutorial. Life saving ribbon. Accident response. 
multi engineers road to craft out see they need to like organize these mission these um badges better like all of the like i guess these mission these missions are here because i did them one after the other these rewards are here one after the other but like these up here they need to be situated better like first landing 25 landings 100 landings 200 landings 400 landings see this is not even in order you mean to tell me i did 200 landings before i did my 100 landings that is that is nonsense all right blackbird spotter ultralight thrill seeker Let's see blue the road crossing that's when you um, do the mission when you cross the English Channel. I pronounced that wrong in anyway, but... Corkscrew. Letter of Appreciation. Letter from the Governor. Red Apple. Baby Booties. Caspian Sea Monster. Ghost Ship Sighting. Ah, huh. I don't remember seeing the ghost ship in Flight Simulator, but I guess I did. Alright, y'all. That was it. Why does my thing work? Alright, guys. Well, that was it for um, my... Wow, words. Yeah, that was, that's it for... Um, today's stream um, we were just doing some missions in flight sim and FSX stimulation uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it because I'm sure I did um, be sure to check out my social media um, Twitter FSX Stouts Instagram at FSX Stouts 1 uh, be sure to check out my other video the video I did called um, what's it called? Crap. Man, I'm not very good at words, as you guys probably know. The video called Parting a PC for FS 2020. Yes, be sure to check out that video. If you're building a PC for um, Flight Sim 2020, don't look at their system specs. Their system specs are nonsense. And it's more expensive too. Like your price to performance for AMD is really out of whack. So definitely check out my video on parting a PC for FS2020 and be sure to use those affiliate links in the description so I can get a little kickback. I really, really appreciate that because I'm out of work due to COVID and your boy is broke. So thanks for watching everyone. I I appreciate all of you for sticking through and watching it, even though there are just two viewers, one of whom is me, the other one is probably my mom. Um, so yeah, really appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.